Let's get into something I know um, that you wanted to talk about, and that's uh, Kevin Stefanski's play calling, especially in that Green Bay game. Yeah, you know, I think he's taking, or I know he's taking a lot of criticism, you know, including John Johnson the third tweeting, you know, run the darn ball. Um, I, I don't, I'm not saying Stefanski is perfect in that game. And, you know, I point to the end of the, end of the first half. They come out of the two-minute warning. They're on their the Cleveland's 40-yard line. It seems like the perfect time to run the ball and not let Aaron Rodgers get another crack, um, not, not, not another possession in that half. And yet, out of the two-minute warning, they run the bootleg left, and Baker throws the interception intended for Jarvis Landry. Now, looks like miscommunication. It's also probably a bad decision, also maybe a bad throw by Baker. And all of a sudden, Rodgers has the ball back, and instead of it being, you know, Browns maybe 15-14 at half because they were trailing 14-12, to 12, it's 21-12. So I do take issue with that. But overall, I don't. You know, if you look at the whatever they had, 68 play calls on offense, um, you know, the Browns moved the ball up and down the field. And Kevin Stefanski and his staff spotted something in that Packers defense and said, hey, we can run on them, we can throw on them, we can run screens on them. And, you know, they only punted once. So if you only punt once, it's hard for me to blame a lot of the play calling. And you can say, hey, well, Baker threw the interceptions. You got to trust your quarterback. Um to make some throws. So overall, I thought Stefanski did fine. And a lot of people point to the last three plays and I would come back to the quarterback's got to make a play. And I don't think you could just run it from the 50 yard line and say, that's how you're going to score a touchdown, especially with the rookie kicker that you don't trust. They're trying to score a touchdown. You need a chunk play or two. And the Joker was open and Baker just missed it. You know, and then the second down play call was a screen. that was a good design and the guy to the package made a good play and got a hand on the ball. Um, so, you know, I, I really don't blame Kevin Stefanski. I understand why people do, and it's give the ball to Chubb, give the ball to Chubb. But, you know, you need to throw the ball in this league, number one. And number two, the same people are saying give it to Chubb. We're complaining the week before when they threw on third and three um, with your third-string quarterback. When they ran on third and three and you had a third-string quarterback. I agree wholeheartedly that um... – questioning the play calling is is an easy thing to do in hindsight because we, it's never the right call when it doesn't work out doesn't matter what it is we're with you 100 percent of the time when it works out yeah it, that's exactly right and i think as a play caller if guys are open right um that's about all you can do you know and they were running it well i mean i get the i get the sentiment hey you're running at eight yards of carry but chubb on that drive went four ten and four well, if you have two straight fours, you got to take timeouts. You still got to convert a third down. Like, you need a chunk play there, and you're going to get it most likely in the passing game, and your quarterback made a bad throw. And you're going to get that chunk play, and the opportunity is going to be there because of how well Nick Chubb ran. So everything is yes. interrelated. So, I, I mean, and again, it, it's a uh, play calling is an art, and it's, um, it's a no-win situation when it doesn't work out.